Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to bring up a wonderful mayor of Compton, Ms. Asia Brown. But before I do that, I want to let you know that uh, the program that she supports is Mad Mac. We did all the production here. We give jobs to wounded veterans and average youth. And we'd like to thank her and the city council and, the, and Compton you who make it possible. Come on, y'all. Y'all can do better than that. I said Miss Mayor Asia Brown. Welcome, City of Compton. How's everybody doing today? Please, please have your seat. We are just so thankful that you all came out to help celebrate a great man, a visionary of our generation, Mr. Kendrick Lamar. Let's give it up for Kendrick Lamar, everybody. Today is a historic day here in the City of Compton. As we celebrate Black History Month, I am reminded of the great things our people collectively have fought to achieve in our society. Think about the concept of change for a moment. Change doesn't just happen because it's needed. Change happens as a result of the strategic force of a change agent. Today we are celebrating one of our generation's amazing leaders. As we stand in the midst of Martin Luther King Monument just behind us, I can't help but be reminded of the movement of the past and the ever-present need for a movement to bring justice and equality for all. No matter our struggles, it is important that we take the time to celebrate the accomplishments of our brothers and our sisters. Today, as we welcome back and honor one of our city's own, let's continue to embrace the spirit of greatness that Compton was built upon. Let us all recommit ourselves to lift our city to even higher heights because the next generation depends on it. And remember, Compton family, as a great man once said, if God's got us, we gonna be all right. And we ask God that you go before us and that if you are in front of us, we truly know that yes, everything will be all right. Bless those that are on the program. Bless those that are going to speak. And then continue to anoint the hands of Brother Kendrick that everything that he touches will go to gold. And then we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We're not ashamed of it. We won't just praise you privately, but even some of us that are here publicly, because we know that you're all that and then some, we give you honor and praise. And we close it in Jesus' name we pray. We say together as we clap our hands, amen, and praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I have the distinguished honor to welcome up one of Compton's own local but internationally known sensation, Mr. Jacob Lust, who will now sing the national anthem. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, say, can you see? dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the rest we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rocked the bombs bursting in a gap through the night that a flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner the land?
have the, the great honor to welcome up our elected officials because they have special presentations for Kendrick Lamar on this very special day. Please help me welcome Congresswoman Janice Hahn, Senator Isidore Hall, straight out of Compton, and also Assembly Member Mike Gibson. And also Assembly Member Ridley Thomas. Thank you, Mayor Asia Brown. Good morning, Compton. Good morning. I'm here representing the United States House of Representatives, and I'm here to say, Kendrick, you've come a long way from Centennial High invitations to the White House. And this Monday, you'll be the first rapper of all time to win the Grammy for Song of the Year. And I just want to say, we love you because you are a great example to every, every girl and every boy here in Compton. That no dream is too big. No aspiration is too high. Nothing that you can think or dream of is too far away. And Kendrick, you've proved that. And I love the way you give back to your city. And we're happy today. And on behalf of the United States Congress, I've got a special congressional recognition with the gold seal and everything. In honor of your outstanding humanitarian contributions to communities across the world. Thank you, Kendrick. Thank you for what you do. We love you. And now, we are the moment we've all been waiting for. And our future mayor of the city of Compton. I've already endorsed him. He promised he'd come back in 25 years, y'all, so we're going to hold him to it, right? The illustrious Kendrick Lamar. Let's give it up to everybody. Got to give me a second. This is, uh, I just gotta sit for a second, just watch y'all right now, man. Right? The band, these girls, they killed it. Yeah. Um, I keep thinking about being in this moment just takes me back 20 some years ago. My mom in here, my pops and my mom's right here right now. We used to constantly walk to this, uh, I don't know, y'all probably don't know some kids out here. It was Circuit City before. Yeah. Anybody know Circuit City? We used to walk to this uh, Circuit City and it was Boys Market. That's, that's way back, you remember Boys Market? We'll go there, then we go back. Back to that, I stayed on the laundry. I was probably about four or five years old, and then we walked to the county building. Y'all know the county building right there. Yep, exactly. And I used to be a kid, man, just like, fascinated with, with life, and, 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 and just love being out, and, and being from the city of Compton. We walking around these places, and my mama said, you know where you from? You know. This is, this is your neighborhood right here. This is, this is Compton, California. And that's when I grasped the concept, her putting in me that it's not just a city. Her telling me this as a kid, telling me this meant strength. You know what I'm saying, where we from? It means strength, period, point blank. And uh, 
looking around as a kid, I was just fascinated. And knowing the fact that it don't stop right here, right now, being five years old, five, six years old. I knew for a fact that I could be anything I wanted to be. Simple as that. And uh, coming back here today and seeing these kids out here, we share the same similar stories. And having this key to the city, it's not just a representation of glorification that I have Compton. This is a representation of all of us. This is a representation of us opening more programs for these kids, opening more job opportunities. That's how I'm looking at it from my own black home. And with that being said, as long as I'm doing music, as long as I'm using my platform for something, I'm gonna always, since day one, scream Compton and make sure I come back to this community and do right by it. Because you're always doing right by me. Through all the pain, shift, and hardship, losing family members, losing homeboys, for some reason we always still love Compton because we have faith. So before I even wrote, we gonna be all right. That's what we sing it since day one. I appreciate everyone out here, and please believe me, it will not stop. This is just the spark of everything. I love y'all. Let's give it up one more time. We're, gonna, we're now going to present the key to the city. Give us one moment, everybody. And I can just give you guys a hint before you see it that it's better than Drake's key. All right. Compton, that's right. <laughs> All day, every day, that's right. <laughs> this is how we do it. All right. If, we go, if we're going, we're going big, y'all. If I can have my colleagues assist me, thank you. Kendrick. That's right, Kendrick. And not just the Kendrick, the whole TDE family, because we know that it takes the whole team to make this happen. And it says, whereas the city of Compton takes great pride in recognizing those individuals whose commitment and dedication have made a lasting impact on our community and its citizens. One such individual of merit is Mr. Kendrick Lamar Duckworth, a hip hop recording artist from Compton, California. And whereas Kendrick was influenced by his idols, Tupac Shakur, excuse me, Tupac Shakur and Dr. Dre, Mr. Andre Young, by witnessing the filming of music video, California Love. Everybody remember that? I do. Which served as a life-changing moment in his artistic development, later inspiring the release of his first full-length mixtape entitled, let me not say it out, it's Y-H-N-I-C, that ultimately led to Kendrick signing a recording contract with Top Dog Entertainment, TDE, based in Carson, California. And whereas Kendrick gained major rec recognition in 2010 after his first retail release, Overly Dedicated, the following year he released his first independent album exclusively through iTunes. The album included Kendrick's debut single, which by that time he had already amassed a large internet following and worked with several prominent artists in the industry, including The Game, Snoop Dogg, and Busta Rhymes. And whereas Kendrick secured a recording contract with Aftermath and Interscope Records in 2012, leading to his first major label debut, Good Kid, Mad City, released in 2012 and received universal acclaim. In 2013, MTV named Kendrick the number one hottest MC in the game on their annual list. And whereas Kendrick received a total of seven nominations for the 2014 Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year, Kendrick received his second Album of the Year nomination at the 58th Grammy Awards and led the list with 11 categories, surpassing rapper Eminem as the rapper with the most nominations in a single night, and second overall behind the entertainment legend, Michael Jackson, who holds the record of 12 nominations in 1984. Whereas in 2015, Kendrick released his third studio album to Pimp a Butterfly, incorporating elements of funk, spoken word, poetry, and jazz, debuting at the top of the Billboard charts in the US and the UK. The album was preceded by its lead single, I, which earned Kendrick his first two Grammy Awards in 2015 for Best Rap Performance and Best Rap Song, and whereas Kendrick also received the California State Senate Generational Icon Award from the 35th District State Senator Isidore Hall, whom from the Senate floor, Kendrick shared his adoration 
for his hometown and the importance of giving back within the legislature being from the city of Compton and knowing the parks that I played at and the neighborhoods that I lived in, I always thought how great the opportunity would be to give back to my community from my music career, Hendrick said. Now, therefore, be at be it resolved in the city of Compton, I urge all my colleagues, citizens, special guests to join me in congratulating Kendrick Lamar Duckworth on his many accomplishments, wishing him continued success in the future and thanking him for his contributions and support to our beloved community. Be it resolved this 13th day of February 2016, Mayor Asia Brown, City of Compton, Council Member Jane Zarita, uh, District 1, Councilman Isaac Galvan, District 2, Council Member Tana McCoy, District 3, and Emma Cherie, Councilwoman, District 4. Thank you all. More hand, everybody. Thank you.